today we are going to Toronto. Currently I'm in the airport at Yule in Montreal and I'm waiting for my flight so I will be flying with Flair Airline. It's kind of a low cost company here in Canada and I paid around $120. To reach Yule Airport you have several possibilities. You can take a Uber or the 747 bus. If so, the ticket costs $10 and you have to pay by cons to the driver. The flight to Toronto is quite short, only an hour. Did you know that Toronto is Canada's largest city with 5.9 million inhabitants? Once in Toronto Pearson Airport, I took the 900 bus and the TTC Metro Green Line to reach the city center for a fee of $2.50. the metro because I didn't want to pay the UPS train even though it's way faster it's like 25 minutes but you have to pay 12, 12 to 13 dollars more or less to reach downtown after all it is just an hour and a half and it's to Toronto yay <laughs> finally here we are in this video I will be showcasing you what I will be doing the whole weekend in Toronto activities food place but also I will give you my budget I will start my visit here in Toronto with the art museum. I go. Something that is really nice about that museum is like if you're below 25 years old, the access is actually free. So I was like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> because for your information, I'm 23 for now. The Art Gallery of Ontario is one of the largest art museums in North America. The museum is quite pleasant to walk around. They expose various art collection. My favorite exhibitions are I'm here on the fifth floor and the Canadian art on the second floor. I travel for time with the early Quebec art collection. I love it so much because if you follow my adventures, you know that I love to hike. On weekends, I usually hike outside of Montreal in the Laurentides, S3 and so on. Therefore, I was captivated by these paintings. It remind me of our excursions. A bonus awaits you. If you take the stairs behind the museum, you will have a beautiful view of the CN Tower, the iconic spot of Toronto. It's finally warmer here in Canada. I made myself some sandwiches like bagels from Montreal, my favorite place. You know it all. <laughs> And I bring them here and I was like, okay, I will go for a small picnic. I found a nice bench to, to eat my bagels. Naturally, the pigeons are around and even this cute cooper. Also, due to the fact that I'm traveling really light with only my super backpack, <laughs> I didn't need it to go to my friend's place or a hotel before starting my visit. So that's, it's quite convenient. In this way, I could start straight my visit and use any means of transportation without being bothered. If you want to go around Toronto for cheap, I will highly recommend you to take the back share option. It's really simple, you just have to register through the app. It's like in Montreal, if you already <laughs> been in Montreal. And like now you can really ride around, they have like cycle paths, so no worries, you won't be hurt. I paid $7 for unlimited rides for 24 hours. I'm a true back addict. I love it so much because you can cover a far bigger part of the city than by walking and you're still exercising. In a street in Toronto called Graffiti Alley, you will have a lot of street art. It's super nice to go around, like it's just one string long. You will stroll around many murals, the perfect setting for taking pictures. If you're lucky, you might spot the artist. The alley is colorful, it's beautiful, it's amazing. Unfortunately, there is a little inconvenience, which is trash. Because it provides kind of, uh, it's a bit smelly. Time to continue our tour. I cycle through Toronto downtown and make some quick stops along the way. I end up at Toronto Harbour Front. Nevertheless, my end goal is the CN Tower. It is located just next to the famous Rogers Center where football and baseball march are held. 
and here we are the CN Tower. It costs $50 to step off the high speed elevator to the main observation level. Now I'm in the CN Tower which is 550 meters high. It's wonderful because we have a view all over 360 degrees all over Toronto. The view was indeed mind-blowing. It is totally worth it. I would recommend you to visit during the sunset hours even though it's crowded. Like that, you can admire the full sweep of the cityscape changing from day to night. Day 2 of our journey here in Toronto. Today we're going a bit outside of the city and we're going to Niagara Falls. For that, I rented a Communauto. Da -da -da! Communauto is a car share service available in East Canada. Time to hit the road. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It costs us $20 per person as we are splitting in five. Geez, Toronto traffic is insane. Normally you need around an hour. Oh my god, finally! After three hours of traffic, it was horrible. But we are here! Our first stop is Whitewater. To be able to do the Whitewater walk, it costs around $70. The speed of the rapids is insane. 48 km per hour. It is one of the fastest rapids in the world. Rank class 6. We hear the roar of the river all along. It is impressive. Some people try to cross the rapids but drown. The rapids are really impassable. Throughout the walk, we enjoy stories about the geology of the Niagara Gorge and the plants and animals around. Indeed, we observe many red tail hawks. We just finished our tour at the Whitewater Walk and now we're gonna go straight to the falls. The real thing starts here. Yeah. We took the car. But you know, like we went through the whole like amusement fair that they created next to the falls and it's like wow insane you feel like you're in Disneyland or I don't know where it is unreal a world created from scratch to make you stay several days and spend your money unfortunately the downside is that it damaged the natural beauty of the falls we are a bit hungry so we taste an oreo funnel it is so fat but yummy thank god we are sharing that bit it's so huge I really Finally, we made it to the most interesting part, the Niagara Falls. The falls separates the US from Canada. To enjoy the full Niagara Falls experience, we did the boat ride. It costs $37 per person. They provide you a red hooded plastic poncho. Believe me, you will need it. It's quite fun because here on the falls, there is like two kind of boat companies that are doing those tours. One is from the US and they are like the blue ones. And us, we are in Canada, so we are the red team, and we are, it's like so funny because it looks like we are kind of fight, fighting. The boat ride lasts 20 minutes long. As the ferry ride just reopened for the season, there weren't that many people yet. Be prepared to get wet. The water is refreshing. <laughs> It's the blue team's turn now. Let's go. Our last stop for today is Happy Land, a hot pot restaurant in Mississauga. It is all you can eat for around $50 per person. We are so full in the end, it is delicious. Then we drive safely back home. And this is our last day in Toronto. We are ready! Our day starts with a quick breakfast at Tim Hortons. I took a jalapeno bagel and a chocolate donut. Tim Hortons making my true Canadian right now. After we ride the metro, line one, the yellow one, to reach Midtown Toronto. Right now, I'm visiting Casa Loma here in Toronto. Well, it's quite okay, but I would say it's quite expensive for what it is itself. The views are amazing, but they try to squeeze inside like many information regarding World War II and all the wars that they had here in Canada and they participated in. 
but also about like Princess Diana exhibition, how the previous owner like used to live in the house. So it's kind of messy when you're trying to visit and disorganize and it all for a cost of $40. So I found that a bit expensive maybe for what it is. Nevertheless, I have to admit that the view is lovely. Casa Loma sits at an elevation of 140 meters above sea level. This gothic revival style mansion and garden is now a historical house, museum and landmark. The visit takes around two hours. We are right now in a secret tunnel. Ooh la la. <laughs> We are lucky because we are early May and there is a special event occurring in Toronto. Do you have any idea? It is super crowded because people want to see the cherry blossom. The tree! It was crowded like hell! And here we are now in Chinatown. The Asian food scene is of high quality. Indeed, the demographics of Toronto make Toronto one of the most multicultural and multiracial cities in the world. There are many ethnic neighborhoods such as Little India, Greek Town, Little Jamaica, and so on. Sometimes you feel like you are in another country. We finally hop on the ferry and we are going to Toronto's island, to the Ward's Island more precisely, and it cost us around like $8.70. The ride lasts only 10 minutes. Ward's Island Ferry is a ferry that runs until midnight. Like that, you have plenty of time to stroll around the islands and admire the sunset. The islands are a little paradise. It is peaceful even though you are so close to the city. A perfect getaway. It is a blast. Toronto is definitely the New York of Canada and a must-do if you visit Canada. In total, I spent $500 for my weekend without accommodation. Time for me to go home. Right now at the airport, I will sleep here tonight because my flight departs really early in the morning, like around 6 a.m. and there were no transportation to reach the airport before. So I will spend the evening here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. It's been a really fun travel to Toronto. I liked it a lot. And let's keep it up for new and next upcoming adventure. Explore surroundings. Beep.